love this look. I 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 love this look. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm really excited to do this video because you asked, I answered. No, actually, I asked you, didn't I? I asked you and you answered about wearing shirts in different ways. Anyway, it's here. This is the video. Um, so I've been wearing shirts in different ways for the past couple of years now and I'm really, really enjoying it. So hopefully this video will give you some tips, some style ideas on rethinking how you look at your typical traditional button down shirt. So if that's something you think will help you, then just keep on watching and just get stuck in. <laughs> Okay, so the first example is this gingham shirt that I'm wearing, but it is not an oversized shirt, it's just a normal size shirt. And all I did was I just buttoned up. In fact, you know what, let me just bring this down a bit so you can see. So what I did was I had a shirt, I was originally wearing it like this. I've got a bandel top, so don't worry, I'm not showing any Janet Jackson star boobies. Um, so it was like this, okay? So quite a normal size looking shirt. What I did was I literally just buttoned up the last one, two, three buttons from the very bottom. And then you just take it, again, look for a strapless bra. If you've got bigger boobs, then look for something that's got some sort of support to you as well, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, just wear it like this. See, I just folded down the sides here underneath around the sides just to have like a little trimming going around here i really like that look and i personally like the look of an undone cuff i think it just looks much it gives a much more feminine vibe to any sort of men's with mensy type of shirt and that is one of the looks to wear a shirt Another way to wear a shirt is just the one shoulder look. I sort of go like that to sort of show where your skin is showing. This works best with an oversized shirt. I've worn this shirt before in a couple of my other videos with my favorite oversized men's shirt. I thrifted this shirt. The key to this look is a very sort of oversized look with a tailored structured mensy type of shirt. So all I did was, this is where the buttons are. They're all along here. It was originally like this. I moved it off the shoulder and I just tucked it so that the line, the button line is no longer down the middle, it's down the side. And that straight away gives it a sort of a blousy sort of feel to it. Again, the undone cuffs and the back of the shirt just drapes like this. And I absolutely love this kind of look. It's more on one side here, it's really simple. Another look that I've seen done to a classic white mensy type of shirt is called the untuck or the one tuck look for wearing with inside a pair of jeans. This is probably one of the most simplest looks that you can do yourself and it may be something that you're already doing. Most people tuck shirts all the way in but I've seen lately a trend towards giving a very sort of just completely relaxed look to shirts. It's just called one tuck, or at least I call it that. You simply tuck one side of your shirt in about halfway across, going around here, and then on the other side, where the buttons actually show, you just keep that look going all the way down and just leave it untucked on one side. So that is another way to just wear a simple, undone type of shirt. Another look is to take your shirt and wear it back to front. All I've done is I've looked at the very last buttons here and I've done like this one and I'm going to leave this one, there's one left here. And all I'm gonna do is take it off and flip it around with the button still on. Now I'm wearing a shirt back to front. It's that same white shirt that I showed you before. I actually love this look because it's such a clean, clean, minimal look. So this is the front of the shirt. The collar, as you can see, is still here. It's still showing. And all I've done is I have worn it back to front. This is the principle of how you can just change a shirt that you already have in your wardrobe. <laughs> A 
another simple look here is a white shirt and it is a more cropped fitted well not cropped but it's a smaller fitting shirt and I'm wearing a bralette I found this from H&M I really love it look at the detail on this it's just like this really pretty lace so you've got a bralette on underneath and say you just don't want to have your arms out you're not on holiday on the beach you're actually in the city and it's a really hot day just take a simple shirt and just tie it just knot it in the front so you're showing your bralette top but you're not showing too much either. So it's a little bit of both. And that's really it for another way to wear a simple shirt. Another look I'm gonna show you is to take that same large size oversized shirt and to wear it as a skirt. Now watch this. So I'm going to wear this as a skirt and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So you take a men's shirt and you fold it just here at the back. You can see the collar at the front. So I've just literally just folded it to here, okay? Now, keeping hold of those, you're gonna put it around your waist like this, and then you're gonna grab the buttons and the button holes at the bottom, because this is what's gonna keep the skirt closed. I call this a skirt now. So what I'm gonna do here is just button up for you the lower button so you can see what's happening. There's the back, here's the front, Here's the sleeves, and you're just gonna tie this in front like this. You can tie it like this, or you can obviously take this, the sleeves and tie them twice again, and just leave them to hang in front like that. And so this is just so you can see how I've taken, it almost reminds me of a turban, a turban hat, but you're just wearing this as a skirt. And I just love this kind of very simple deconstructed look. There's the back. And again, I just teamed it with a, a simple t-shirt so you can see what the look is like. Obviously you can take these as well. Once you've tied it here, you can make a bow if you want. I'm not really a bow girl. So I'd rather just leave it just simply tied like that. Again, these are the sleeves, look at the cuffs and boom you've got yourself a simple skirt. Another favorite look of mine is what I call the wearing the stripe on stripe shirt look and having a bandeau style wide OB kind of shirt belt here. So what I've done, again, this is a men's shirt found in the thrift shop, oversized cuffs. I love, oh my God, look at these cuffs though. Oh! Oh, they look so good. You do that half tuck I told you about before. Just do like this over here. And then you grab a, this is the, this is the best part. You grab another shirt, watch. Here is a striped shirt that I've got in blue. And then what I did was, well, here's the front. So you can obviously see there is a shirt. And this is where you get, see, look, I like that play of stripe on stripe in different directions. Remember I told you about that in the other video from last week? Here's the shirt and I'm almost like, like horizontally, I'm folding the shirt in half. See, the collar is at the bottom there, right in the middle of your screen, okay? So that's what I'm seeing on my side. So you're seeing the back. Now that back part is what you're going to just put under your boob and just wrap around here. I love this look, 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 I love this look. <laughs> and then I take the front and you just kind of do this with it here oh god I loved it oh you got to see this properly okay and so here is one way of just wearing again you decide how you want this to look right now it has like an apron sort of look to it I like the contrast of the oversized look of this one this shirt paired with the tightness of just giving your body some shape with the shirt that's on top and now what you can do is again if you want to make this a little bit more like a belt Then you take that shirt, all I'm doing is just folding it into like a line, like a straight line. So it really does just look like it's a belt now. And you just tie it in front. You need to have oversized shirts for this girls. I mean, you've got to really go up. Don't, doesn't matter what size almost. And don't forget you're playing, because look at this. I'm just literally playing with you in front of the camera just to sort of see, okay, do I like it like this? Do I not like it like that? That, and I'm wearing a pair of pinstripe trousers. Again, playing on 
stripe here, stripe and stripes. That's three different stripes going on. But again, always sort of zhuzh, play around. If you want to bring it down a little bit lower like this, you can. What I'm doing is pulling the bottom of the shirt and I'm playing with this. I'm using this as my tie, which is the cuffs of that shirt. But I like that width you've got here going on and the two different stripes and the two different colors. And don't forget for this type of look, you can go with any kind of colored shirt that you want. This could have been a plain shirt, white, black shirt with a contrasting colored, solid colored belt. You play around with it how you want, polka dots, small, large. But the point is, think about shirts in a completely different way. I love this look. I just think it looks so cool. Oh God, I think I'm gonna wear it again to go out or something. Anyway, you get the point. <laughs> Here is another play on that same shirt that I was telling you with the belt that goes making it into a belt. Just take that same blue shirt and just wear it higher. Look, see, just, oh, <laughs> oh I like this one too. Don't put it here, put it up here. I took the same um, sleeves, brought it around tightly and I just, just put it right like that. If you're small chested, this is obviously going to be the ideal for you. Larger chested, then I would suggest sticking with wearing it under here because I'd like that look of like, if you've got like boobs and you've got like that, that belt that goes in with your boobs here. Oh, that looks so big and sexy. Anyway, so those are the two options depending on your bust size. But again, you decide on the colored shirts that you want to do for the combination. But this is just another way to just turn a shirt or shirts rather into a completely different look and to just think a bit more out of the box really. It's almost like a mensy corset in a way when you think about it, right? Oh, oh, and you can wear this with like wide leg pants. Oh, I mean, can you imagine you're going out somewhere and you're wearing that? And the people go, oh, where did you get that? Say, so, oh, I just put this together myself. Here is that same shirt again, the one that I wore as a belt. I took the same bandeau look, but I just removed the other shirt. So this is something for the absolute height of summer when you are just so hot. And I just took that same shirt and I tied it at the back. So I just took, the. this is essentially the back of the shirt. I just like that look of a plain sort of front here and you've just got the action of the sleeves hanging down at the back here. And again, I think it's really cool to have pinstripes worn during the summertime. It's expected now because it's a trend and it's trending. It's not the traditional type of pattern that you expect to wear during the summer because if this was in floral to me, yes, it would still look good, but I just like the masculinity of keeping that traditional menzy type of vibe running through what is a more feminine type of look. Another look I like is to take a shirt and just to wear it all the way up to the top. Very kind of boyish looking. I really like that look because it's very androgynous but it can be playful as well. Just having the shirt done all the way to the top here so you've got like this clean collar just showing. It's very simple, it's minimal. I like the feel actually of being completely covered up here and you could just wear like a short skirt so you've got the balance of so your legs are showing but you're kind of covered up here. That's a nice play to me. And another thing is that when you've got a shirt that you've buttoned all the way to the top, why not just decorate the neck? You could just take something as simple as a brooch and just pin it right there. This to me works perfectly in the fall and in winter. So if you've got a coat on and then you've just got this flash of something unexpected right by your neck. Really pretty. Take a long, a very long shirt. Sometimes we call them shirt dresses as well. So why not take a shirt dress and wear it as a shirt. I hope that makes sense. Most people take shirt dresses and wear them literally as a dress and you can absolutely do that. But I kind of like the look of, okay, I'm gonna show you in the camera how I'm, what I'm talking about. This is an ultra long shirt dress that I picked up from H&M. I'm just gonna show you a simple way that you can wear a shirt dress that is not as literal as a dress. And all I did, it buttons all the way down because it's very long. Just wear it over a pair of denim jeans and just do up the first two or three buttons. Make it stop right around the waistline of your jeans and just wear it just like this. So it's almost like you're wearing it like an oversized shirt basically. And oh, I love this, look, look. See what I'm saying? All you've done is taken a shirt dress 
and instead of wearing it as a dress just wear it as a shirt instead and what I like about this is it has a very simple very sort of just carefree casual run out the door I've just got to do a couple of errands look and it just looks really really cool to, to have the structure of the denim jeans coupled with the fluidity of a long line shirt dress Now, if you want to mix up the look of a long shirt dress, why not try this? Just take a gingham or your favorite type of pattern shirt. Make sure it's relatively small. All I've done is bunch it up and to make it look like a one long piece. So I folded it over and over horizontally. And this is the sleeves hanging out here. And just belt your shirt dress like this. Take a shirt and you just tie it in front. All you're doing is taking another shirt and you're turning it into a belt. And just wear it like that just very very simple undone and then you just have to fix around the sides see look at that you control the width that you want it to be depending on you know what your shape is like you may want it to be much thinner or you may want it to be much wider than I'm showing you here the idea is to just introduce a little bit of a pattern with what you're wearing so there you go boom I've taken that same shirt dress and all I've done is just injected a bit of a pattern into it or you could obviously wearing it a little bit higher, like this. I could see it just, oh yeah, it's like under your, like here's my boob. And just wear it just like a little bit. Or you can just wear it as a wide belt instead. And again, you can go much wider than this because it's a shirt, remember. So you decide the width that you want your belt to be. Now, don't forget, it's a belt now. It's a shirt, but you're using it as a wide belt obi style belt which is very in for this season and i know i mentioned this before in my one of my other videos as well for you so there you go you've got something really wide there again it's sitting under the boobs if you're larger boobed this works really well and i think it also works well for girls who have smaller boobs as well in the back all you have to do is just tie it you can either tie it in a bow in the front and then swing it around or just double tie it in the back this is just so, so, these are just really, really simple, simple ideas for you. What I like about shirts these days is that they've become so much more architectural, they've become structured, they've become so much more undone now. So there is no longer the typical sort of uniform way of wearing a shirt anymore. It's almost a sort of anything goes policy in a way and I love that because to me that is what fashion and in particular what style is all about it really is about playing around with clothes looking at things a little bit differently never think about a shirt the way it is never think about a garment the way it's presented to you think about other ways that you can wear it especially based on the type of shape that you have always keep that in mind when you're shopping there's always ways to customize to adjust and to marry combinations together that you may not have thought of before I'm really hoping that this video has given you some ideas even if it was just one idea that you liked in this my job is done that's because that is my aim is just to inspire someone out there for just one of these looks if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram my name is karen britchick all of my looks go up on there a lot of the things that i've been showing you in the cutaways throughout this video were taken from instagram as well or from my blog where did you get that but i think that is it yeah i will see you next friday bye guys Okay, that was silly. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>
Why is the phone ringing? Oh, great. Sod it. I'm going to keep talking. There's no way I'm going to show this on YouTube. Voice by Sir. Uh, I can't believe I just said that. Oh my God. I come up with the best crap on YouTube. Let me just put a tie here. No? God, this looks fucking stupid. But please do give, if you did, bleh. This is just an exa another example. So this is just, bleh. I can't speak. Whenever the camera's on, I can't speak. But sometimes I just like that. Ooh. Quite like it just to the side, actually. Just like that. This is not working. The bells, the bells, the bells. No. God, I sound like a nutcase.